eventually down the track, I'm going to show you many different independence patterns that you can play either on the snare drum, independently of the ride cymbal and hi-hat, things like this. I'm also going to show you how to do that with the bass drum, things like this. Snare drum and bass drum independence. And even hi-hat independence. But for now, what we're going to do, and it's kind of an independence exercise, I guess, we're basically just building on top of the basic jazz ride beat. We're going to start to learn a basic jazz shuffle pattern. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is just reinforce the pattern that we've already learned. The ride cymbal pattern that we know, one, two, and a three, four, and a one. Hi-hats on two and four. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, three, four, one. And the bass drum on all four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. What we're going to do now is we're going to play the snare drum on two and four as well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so here we're basically playing a pattern that uses all four limbs. So we're testing and developing our four way independence here. Even as basic as this is, uh, it still is in its own right an independence exercise, I guess. So what we're doing is we're playing the snare on two and four. You'll notice with the bass drum that I'm basically just feathering the bass drum along, okay? I'm not, it's not like I'm playing a disco beat or something where I'm really, really digging into the bass drum. It just should sit on the bottom of the music and just be felt rather than heard, okay? Okay, I'm not really digging in too much. You can, you can of course, play slightly louder for accents and stuff. But for the majority of what we're doing when we're playing four on the floor, we're just going to keep it just a little bit softer. One, two, three, four, one. And that's called feathering the bass drum. So that's our basic pattern at this point. We've got ride cymbal, hi-hat, bass drum, and now we've added snare on two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. From there, what we're going to do is add the triplet before beat two or four, which is one and a or three and a. Uh. We're going to play that on the snare as well. So we're now going to get one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one. But we're going to play it a lot softer than the actual accent on two and four. So we're not playing them the same volume. We're not going one and a, uh, two. The first one's soft. And in order to play a soft note, we drop the stick from a lower height. I'm probably dropping it from about two inches, two or three inches. And then, then we have the accent. So we kind of play the soft one and then we've got to pull out because we've got to raise the stick to get the louder stroke. So we play tap, pull the stick out and then drop down. And that happens fairly quickly. So we get one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. And we're going to add that with the ride cymbal, hi-hats and bass drum. So we'll start out with just the, with just the core pattern going... We go. One, two, three, four, 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 one